Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is the third step in building a saturation mask using procedural texture. So for saturation, we set a color and the value of saturation is the gap between the maximum value and the minimum value. Then in procedural texture, which we get from live filters and procedural texture here, then we set this as the maximum minus the minimum to give you a saturation value. Then we multiply by A and B, which is A and B down here to give a variable and then a step on top of that to give it a boost. So looking at this, I thought, actually, I'm going to go to improve this a bit. So I'd like to replace A. So in order to do that, I'm going to put in, change that just about XX for now so that I don't have two A's. I'm going to put in another A, but I'm going to use the minus one to one there. And so when this is turned on, and it's turned on up here, this looks like it's black at the moment there because it's the same as this up here, but only in the top part. So there you turn it up and we get that. So what we need to do is actually push the A up a bit. So instead of A up there, I'm just going to put an A, open brackets, the A, then A plus one, and then close brackets. So in other words, instead of going from naught, so that goes from naught to one, this goes minus one to one. By adding one to it, it goes from naught to two. So now here I'm at one. So I'm multiplying by one there to show that. So I can go up to there and down to there. So this in, in a way will actually work by itself. If we look at the histogram again, if I move this up here, I stretch it, I move it down here, there I squeeze it. So you could say, I'm just going to change the name of this to stretch, squeeze. Yep, so it depends on what I do to it. Or if you want to, because it goes left, is going that way, you could reverse the order of those. But I'm going to put that, leave it like that. So I can take this one off by hitting the X. The base, I'm going to tweak that a little bit as well, but I can't actually move it down here. I'd like the B to be second, because they're the first one I want at the top. So I'd have to get rid of that and start it again. It was a Z because that gives you a, it allows you to put a decimal in there if you want to. And so I'm going to call that, well, I'm just going to look at this here, but it'd be nice actually to start from zero. So I can put up here again, open brackets, B plus one, close brackets. And this is the way you often develop these things. You do it in the thing, oh, let's make a slight tweak to improve it. So from zero, this goes up here, and that stretches that again. So what are you getting here is a stretch boost. So normally that would sit at zero, but if you've got a picture where it's all squeezed right the way down here, it lets you put in an extra multiplier. I'm now also going to put in another one, which I'm just going to put from 0 to 1. And what this is going to be is something to buy. So I'm going to start it off with it down at zero. And on top of this, just put plus C. And effectively, what we're doing is adding a bit of a fraction, which pushes this across because we're adding from the bottom here to move it. So everything's plus a certain amount. So when I move this across here, you can see what it's doing is it's shifting the histogram across, which is making everything here whiter. So I then could do that. How could he actually even do that? What if I did as a stretch and squeeze that way. So I'm let's try putting it in as a minus one and plus one here. So if I push it to the left, yes, it's sort of like shifting the whole thing down. That's useful as well, isn't it? So let's do call this shift because it shifts it downwards that way or upwards that way. So I can actually make the whole thing whiter or the whole thing darker. And remember, this is all for selection. So this is going to make this useful as a mask. 
and we make it as a mask by all we simply do is take the RGB off and we put the A on there and that turns that and becomes now acts as a mask I mean, we can use it in the normal way as a mask put the RGB on for, as a visualization so that's it and thank you very much for watching